IDFC First Bank has reported a strong set of numbers. Uh, deposits have grown 43%. I mean, that's a huge growth. Uh, advances as well up over 26%. And most importantly, the net interest margins have risen by almost 40 basis points to 6.36%. To give us more colour on how the bank is shaping up, V. Vaidyanathan, Managing Director and CEO of IDFC First Bank, joins us. Mr. Vaidyanathan, good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, uh, clearly, a lot of numbers are impressive. Uh, let me start with uh, the uh, NIMS itself. 6.36 is obviously a tall number, but now there is the rising pressure of uh, deposit cost. Is this the peak or can you maintain even in the fourth quarter this kind of margins or better it? Well, things would uh, stabilize from here. Our business model is constructed somewhere around 6%. I think because of the repo raise uh, uh, that, that uh, increased recently, uh, we got a bit of a bump up. But we, we guide for about 6% or a little more than that. 6% uh, for FI24 or for the quarter? Even for 24, we should be able to sustain it because sustain 6%. Uh, that's the way our products are, yeah, because that's how our products are constructed and that's how our, our lending rate, uh, deposit rates are. Oh, okay. I wanted to ask you more about uh, your deposit rates, actually. Uh, you have a, a great 43% rise in deposits, but borrowings are also up. Now, what is the difference in cost? What is the cost of average cost of deposits? What's the average cost of borrowings? Uh, our, uh, let me just say that our uh, savings uh, rates, for example, blend, blend would probably be about 5 point something, maybe 5.2 or 5.3, because we also pay 4 and we also pay uh, higher slabs. Mm. Uh, uh, but uh, overall, I'd say that uh, maybe about 5.5% uh, or so. Okay. So, no, uh, I'm asking you that question because will we see progressive replacement of borrowings by deposits and will that keep a lid on the cost of deposits? Uh, yes. Uh, if, if you notice, you know, we've been running out. We're, we ran off close to about 25. We had 28,000 crores of uh, high-cost bonds at mm. about 8.89%. Uh, maybe three years ago, mm. uh, that number has come down to about 18,000 crores. So obviously, you paid off close to about 10, 12,000 crores. Uh, that process will continue. And actually, that's actually accredited to us because obviously replacing them, you know, we're replacing 8.8 5.5. It's a positive trade. Okay, okay. So there's a, there is another uh, uh, 18,000 crore that you can reprice lower, uh, which that's will be... That's right. And that gives us enough cushion to work with, you know. Okay. If supposing, just, just to make it up, Supposing interest rates in the market went up further and there's a need for deposits, we have that cushion on our hand if we have to. Right now, we have no plans to increase interest rates. Okay. But we're already healthy on margin. It gives us enough cushion to touch up the interest rates if required. So you will not... I mean, a lot of banks are tapping the CD market now. You don't find the need to, uh, you know, for ALM or for whatever reason, to tap the CD market and pay a little higher. No, no, we don't need to. Because our deposits coming so strong, Lata. You know, I don't know if you recollect when that discussion happened in 2018 or early 19, how uh, how doubtful people were about our ability to raise deposits. It's coming so thick and strong. In fact, sometimes we have to calm ourselves down, even employees listening to the program to say not to get complacent and, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, keep it like that. But otherwise, we are very, very happy the way we have goodwill in the market. Somehow, there's a lot of goodwill for IDFC First Bank in the market, Tata. Okay. Uh, I guess the Amitabh Bachchan effect is also working and I suppose the bank is also, uh, uh, you know, executing something well. Yes, actually the CLSA report is particularly speaking about executing well uh, on liabilities in a tough cycle. Uh, that's their words, not mine. Uh, Mr. Vaidyanathan, now let me come to the loan side. Uh, wh what do you see as very promising? What kind of growth? Uh, even 26% uh, is a steaming rate of growth of uh, advances. What do you expect uh, in the fourth quarter and FY24? It's more like 25%, I think, not okay. 26 yes. but no, let's, let's not quibble about 100 basis points. But the uh, thing is that uh, we feel, uh, we always guide that for our kind of business, this is a multi-year, multi-decadal growth. Uh, you know, uh, so for us to say 25% right now, we guide for 20 to 25, Lata. Okay. The thing is, Lata, that our loan book at about uh, 1,50,000 crores uh, is, uh, believe it or not, less than 1% of India's credit. 1%. Of course. So um, we have really good capabilities, good credit underwriting capabilities, very low NPA. Um, this can be, this can go at 20%, 25% for a long time. Okay. No, but that that is the space everyone is competing for. I mean, from SBI to HDFC Bank to ICICI Bank, everyone is competing for retail loans, the space where you are. 
uh, that's why I'm asking whether, uh, you know, this kind of a uh, rate of growth can be maintained. Yeah, 2025 is not a big deal. You know, you see all banks are growing at, in that zone. So we are not, I can't call ourselves very unique. Okay. Because you see all numbers are coming in that zone. Yeah, uh, they're coming more the at 20. I guess uh, in your case, the base will also be, uh, the, the banking sector is, is growing at 17. In fact, the, yes. the last number was 15. So yes, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 25 still looks better. W uh, would, what is the secured and unsecured portion? So before we come to that, the uh, so the base for our bank is uh, 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 low, and you know whether secure or base meaning you know we are we are maybe five years old, other banks are maybe 20, 25, 30 years old, and so on. So uh, with regard to uh, secure and secure, Lata, the key thing to understand actually is that uh, India has now developed a very uh, all in, very good guardrails around uh, lending. So whether secure or unsecured, they are all behaving very similar. Um, in terms of asset quality, we'll come to asset quality if you if you have time for that. But let me just uh, uh, talk about uh, the fact that uh, the key, key, very key factor that has come in the country is uh, cash flow lending. Mm. So literally, you're able to see the money in the bank of the customer, and then you're able to lend against that cash. So, you, 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 so that actually is making a huge difference to asset quality. And um, th th that's what we're shooting for. What you're saying is that even if it is unsecured lending, you're able to see the cash so much that you wouldn't worry. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, you'll never say we're never worried. Of course, you should be very careful. No worry but, the, less. Thing, but still, yeah, what is yeah, the yeah, percentage of, of unsecured lending? Let me let me answer that previous question just a little more, Latha, because it's very important to note. Suppose you're lending to a party, suppose a micro entrepreneur. We are able to look through the bank statement of account in a PDF format for a period of, say, six months to 12 months. We're able to see the balance in the account between the first to the fifth of the month. So supposing the balance is, say, 10 lakh rupees. Now we know customer can honor, say, 4 lakh rupees as installment. Then you reverse calculate that four lakhs, the tenor, and found the. So when you give money to cash in the bank, mm. now it cash is also security because the money is trapped in that bank. Got it. So think about when you call it unsecured, we should know that it is secured by cash in the bank. It is secured by your ability to pull out money from the bank because it's an installment. You're not waiting for the customer to pay you. You're pulling money from the bank. No, and thirdly, I, credit I, bureaus have become very effective. There are four credit bureaus in India. I take your point. Grade. Yeah, so that's uh, also very good security. Yeah, I'm sorry so, I'm so, trying so, to hurry you because I'm yeah, being yeah. told I'm out of time. So I just oh, yeah, wanted yeah. to tell you, you know, your consumer loans is your biggest chunk, 20,000 crore, and you're yes. growing very fast in credit card. In both these cases, you don't have long PDFs uh, or annual. So, I mean, would no. you worry about those loans? No, no, we, 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 we absolutely, in credit cards, um, Book is very, very well, you know, gross NP is very low, net is very low. But uh, in durables, typically tenors are only nine months. So if there's any problem, you come to know very, very quickly. Average okay. tenor of a consumer loan is four to, believe it or not, four to five months. Okay. So the cycle pays back very fast. If you, if there's any problem, you come to know within four, five months. Okay. So broadly speaking, Lata, just to keep it simple for your, uh, for, for your viewers, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, our SMA, which is really a really good benchmark, uh, which is SMA one and two, as mm -hmm. you understand it, you know, 30 DPD and 90 DPD portfolio pre-NPA stage. Yes. That is only 1% now, just one. So you can just imagine that, you know, there can't be NPA built up. There's no portfolio in the pre-NPA stage. So we are very comfortable. Your viewers can be can breathe easy. The bank Fair is doing enough. very well. No, 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 thank you for part. giving me the number, which would have been my next question, but I was running out of time. Thank you very much, Mr. Vaidyanathan, for joining us with all those important details. Uh, that's the word from IDFC. The stock is up about... Uh, uh, over about 1% at this point in time. Wrap up on Bazaar, trading ideas on chart prospects.